All right. Let's get her on out of here this morning. Hmm. Thank you, Ruby. Good morning. Hey, Donnie. Where's my dash cam? Yes, ma Was it in your pocket? Yep. All right. Let me get that on up there. I guess I need to have Joey retrieve the elves this morning. <laughs> they went flying yesterday. <laughs> Poor kid. Why was it driving? Mm -hmm. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I'm sorry I'm not coming back to pile up. Oh, I am too. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you also. All right. Bye. Well, if you're working on stuff before I get home, be careful, okay? All right. Bye. Bye, Johnny. Have a yep. good day. Taking Joey to the uh, orthopedic spine person this morning. We're starting out with 199 miles of range at uh, 5.55 a.m. this morning. I had to pull the um, stop charging because, you know, we were going to go into peak time of use at uh, 22 cents per kilowatt hour. We sure didn't want to do that. So, Joey's with me and we've got a little time to kill between dropping Johnny off and his appointment. I think we're going to go to the Raleigh Supercharger and uh, I need a couple things. I'm gonna go into Target and we'll just let the car get just a little bit of juice while we're at Target and then we'll go on over to his appointment. We need to, we need to kill some time. There's a Starbucks at that Target. It's pretty congested out there this morning. I would think a lot of people would be out of work and out of school, but I guess today's technically the last day for most of the school kids around here. So the buses are still running today. So I'm all the time wanting to ask Alexa things when I'm in the car and still very frustrated that it's not built in. But if I come into the Amazon shopping app and press on the Alexa symbol. Alexa, what time is sunrise today? Sunrise is at 7.19 a.m. See, doesn't that sound good with her answering back through the car? Just like Ruby's talking to me, right? Only it's Alexa. Don't get jealous, Ruby. to get a picture this morning because uh, this might be the last morning we're by here early enough that we could see it lit up. Well, I have a uh, picture of a Santa and snowman uh, figurines this morning uh, taken at the garden hut last year. This is a really cool Santa that had like really um, fluffy stuff glued on to him it seemed uh, like real snow. Will you have a good last day buddy? You too mom. Bye Joey. Joey's reminding me not to press his door. He doesn't want me to let all the warm air out. Have a good day. Yesterday I might have opened it not once but twice. You too, buddy. Love ya. I could use a little help getting out of town over to the supercharger. Not tons of help, but a little bit. Yeah, it's just getting that little cut over to Wade Avenue. So Joey and I are here at Lassiter Mill Historical Park. Uh, it's a place I've never been to before. I guess the primary thing here is the uh, spill dam. There's not actually a mill here anymore.
Yeah, Target doesn't open for a few minutes, so when I went past here, I thought, eh, why not pull in and take a few pictures? Since we were here the last time, they've put up this uh, little fencing around the uh, supercharger there. It's kind of blocking the stop sign a little bit. Pointed at the, right there. So, um, I'm surprised that they haven't put those little backup bumps in here yet. Those would be very helpful to backing up properly. I mean, the camera's doing a good job too, but... I would also... It's, some, um, you know, Don backed us in the other day. Yes, Ruby, I know that we're very close to it. I'm not going to hit it. Thank you, sweetheart. So, um, Don said to bump up the charge percentage to 100. That way we won't uh, be idling while I'm shopping. Because that last little bit takes... Oh, said charge limit. That last little bit takes such a long time. There we go. I'm going to need both hands. Well, now I see what Don meant about it being stiff. It was uh, this way this is bent. I mean, I got it in there no problem, but it was tight. Yep, she's ramping up. He's giving me the mom, will you hurry up, take that picture so I can drink my drink look. Yeah. Joey approves of the Switch demo here at Target. Except that those joy cons are done, I have to use motion controls, which is terrible. Well, Santa's busy decorating this morning at Target. Get those lights up on the gutter. So Joey and I come out of Target back to the supercharger and there's two red X's and we actually had to think for just a second about which one was ours. <laughs> I think the other one... No, I think it's red with white. And then there's an S now too. That was kind of funny. How do you tell your red X from another one? So, uh, yeah, we got pretty close to 100%. Go ahead and hit stop charging, Joey. Yeah, I would say you really should make note of your stall we're in 2B because you could come back and find several other vehicles that look just like yours. I should have thought about it. The elves kind of give it away. So before I mess up our charge tonight, I'm going to go back and fix the charge limit. Slide it back to uh, 80% or thereabouts. Don likes to go into Tesla Fi because it'll let you precisely say 80% versus the slider bar, and we just kind of like that better. I'm sure it's not like this everywhere, but there are so many Teslas around, it's like, wow, every time we're out driving almost, in the, well, especially in the Cary Raleigh area, we're seeing a Tesla. Last night at the movie, we saw three white S's all together in like a two block radius in downtown Raleigh. And then we just had a um, Model X pass us, and then a Model S pass us over here in Cary, and, Wow, that's just, I mean, that's great, you know, EV adoption, go forth, um, but just wow. Um, the orthopedic spine guy um, didn't think there was anything seriously wrong with Joey, so that's good. He'd like him to do PT twice a week for four weeks, and he's hoping that um, by the end of that time, he'll be sorted out, maybe strengthen some muscles in his back, give his back some time to heal. Um, but he saw nothing that alarmed him that he didn't think wouldn't heal up well. So we still don't know what he did to cause the pain, but, um, and he won't be able to do Taekwondo, I guess, for maybe at least a couple more weeks. But at least there was some hope there that um, things were gonna sort themselves out. I don't usually talk about chores, except for cooking, which is more fun than a chore, but 
Don's outside working on his electrical project and I'm in the house vacuuming and straightening. Okay, so I've um, plugged the refrigerator and the freezer in the garage to the carport. I ran a 12 gauge, 100 foot extension cord and uh, plugged it in out there so that the refrigerator and the um, freezer out in the garage have power. I've uh, uh, turned off the breaker and disconnected the two hot wires in the uh, power panel in the house that feed the garage. And uh, that is a number, those are two number eight wires. I'm gonna replace those with a number six, uh, two number six wires. And of course the neutral also is a number eight and replace that with a, a, a number six. So basically I'm pulling uh, three wires, three number six wires, or taking three number eight wires out and putting three number six wires in. And uh, in a, it's in conduit, so it's going to be a, a little bit of a pain. I'm going to have to pull it. Uh, I do have some um, pull tape. Uh, I have a pull tape, and I also have um, uh, some of the uh, uh, grease, uh, the uh, conduit grease, to uh, hopefully they'll help that wire slide through that conduit because the conduit's, you know, buried two foot underground, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And just to summarize again, we're doing this because... Right. The, uh, <clears throat> the number eight uh, wire was fine for a 30 amp charge circuit to the Tesla. If I want to go to a 50 amp uh, circuit to the Tesla, I need to use number six wire. Okay, cool. So will we be charging tonight or not charging tonight? Um, don't know yet. Okay, uh, well we're at 246 miles because I supercharged. Right. Coincidentally, that might have just happened to be good. And uh, I think tomorrow we just have a trip to carry and home. Right, and uh, uh, we can, there is a 50 amp circuit out at the carport. And we can charge out at the carport. But you'd uh, have to move the UMC. But I would have to. Uh, which we can move. Which we but can move. yeah. But uh, again, if this goes okay, if I don't have any trouble pulling the wire, uh, you know, this should only be a couple three hour job and we'll be done by dark. Okay, cool. And this is the feed, power feed into the garage. This is the conduit. It goes underground to the house. You mean it's not just a tie Grinch too? No, this is not. <laughs> Okay. Hey Grant, it's 66 out here right now. It could not be any nicer. So, so far so good. I was able to um, get the neutral out first and then one of the hot wires. Now this is the second hot wire. Wow. I got them pulled up over there. I don't know how far it is. Uh, I'll measure. But it's not short. No, it's not. It's probably 60. 60 feet, 65 feet. There's the feet. coiled wire he was talking about. And uh, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna reuse this wire to run to the high powered wall connector. That hopefully, thanks to the great people who use our referral code, I'll be installing here real soon. But I'm getting ready for it. While yeah, we have... got the email that told us about it. We selected it and not the kitty car. Right. And um, it gets here when it gets here. <laughs> right. Yeah, we, we probably won't run it um, uh, we'll probably uh, limit it to like 40 amps. Um, uh, we'll see. I I'll, I'll decide based on, uh, you know, how, how things work out. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to be able to charge anything greater than the 24 amps net that we get. Because on a 30 amp circuit, for safety, you uh, only get to use 24 amps. And so on a 40 amp circuit, you get to use 32 amps. And 32 amps should be like 20 uh, 24, maybe up, upwards to 24 miles, 21 to 24 miles charge rate. Um, and then the, um, uh, a 50 amp, which is you get to charge at 40 amps is something north of, um, you know, something like uh, right at 28 miles or something like that. So we'll see. So Don's in and out of the house a whole lot between the inside the house uh, electrical box and the garage sub panel. And, uh, so Joey and I have tried to move the cats out from underfoot as best as we can. Tux has finally decided that uh, sleeping over there in the sun on the green chair works better than the back porch step. So that's a good thing. It's 2.17 and I've got plenty of time to get to uh, Johnny's carpool. And then Johnny and I are going to uh, 
go shopping at Whole Foods and then we need to go to Home Depot and get Dawn a 45 degree angle electrical conduit uh, thing, <laughs> piece of conduit. Don won't be running today because uh, in and out of the house, he's probably going to get 20,000 steps. Yeah, he's back and forth. He's wearing a, wearing a hole in the sidewalk over there in the asphalt. Yeah, this is the fish tape. He, I bought it. It's 500 foot of uh, this uh, fiberglass nylon super. I mean, this stuff is uh, stronger than I'll... I mean, I won't be able to break it by pulling it. It might get cut. But uh, anyway, it's um, it's through now, so it's a matter of um, tying the uh, new wire to this fish tape and pulling them back through there. Of course, before I do that, I'm going to pull this tape back and forth with some lubricant uh, rag tied on the end of it, <clears throat> paper towel, with some of that lubricant on it, and I'm just going to try to grease up the conduit. To, huh? to grease up the conduit as much as possible. Certainly, we'll grease the conduit as it goes in, but. You know, with just me here, it's kind of hard to. I'm sorry. To do it, that's okay. But you don't really need me. You no. need like JB. Yeah, I need. Yeah. I yeah, need guy, guy. guy yeah, I guy guess. help. I'm that's sorry. I would try to do guy help. But I know you would. You would be fine. But that's all right. I think I can swing it. Hey, it's a, it's a bucket truck convention. So one of the things the boys and I noticed Monday on our drive into town um, is that one of these giant uh, soybean silos here at the Cargill uh, facility collapsed. I don't know if it was due to rust or what it was due to, but um, you can definitely see the big tear there and the metal and the beams down and everything. Um, I don't believe that facility is currently running or is certainly not running at the capacity that it was in its heyday, but um, at one point that was a big uh, processing plant for soybeans for uh, cargo. 70 degrees out now and Johnny is in the car. Well, the parking area for Ruby today is um, much more crowded than normal. Hey mom, there's a there's, leaf. Uh, a lot of other cars up here. And there's a leaf. Yep, there's a leaf. I mean, just really, usually there's like a, another car out there, and today there's just a bunch. Had to play that out. Well, you say if you see any other EVs. Okay. The struggle to decide is real. Apparently someone has ordered a ton of fruit baskets. They have some amazing looking orchids today. It's different how they have them displayed here with the roots on this um, hanging. It's really cool. We had extra packaging um, things to shuffle today with Johnny's book bag in there. I suppose I could have moved that to the floor in the back, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think eight bags of groceries and a pizza. Oh. Yep. All right, be careful, bud. That is so not right. All right, well, we got everything we needed. It's thinned out a little bit um, since we came out of the store. I put in an order for a standing rib roast and I'm gonna pick it up on Friday. We'll cook that Christmas day on Monday. I do the uh, bake it for seven minutes per pound at 550 degrees and then turn the oven off for, I think it's three hours and the meat comes out perfect every time. That's right, the last three hours the oven is off but you don't open the door and it just kind of slow cooks it. Yum. All right, so Johnny and I are headed from Cary back to Fuquay now. We got to stop at Walmart and pick up um, some photo Christmas cards, which I'm so late on, like the latest I have ever been on this year. And then we got to go to Home Depot and get Dawn's piece of conduit. Shouldn't be two, two short stops, one parking lot. So they were putting in a, a cement divider on Sunset Lake Road there at the main intersection in Fuquay earlier today. And apparently they've got traffic backed up north of town about two, maybe going on three miles. So Johnny and I, we did a 
a U-turn in the middle of the road, although there was sort of a third lane there for uh, turn, a turn lane. And uh, we're gonna try to get into town an alternate way. There is no, we'd be there over 30 minutes and we've got groceries in the car and two, and two stops to make and it's 70 out. So we sure don't wanna be caught in that traffic for forever. I'm gonna come up here and can't quite see it, but get on James Slaughter and come back into town. It might have cost me a couple extra miles, but I can assure you that I'm happier moving than stuck in that traffic. I mean, look at all of that red traffic out there, and we're Johnny and I are bypassing all of it. All right, so we're gonna go in and get Don's uh, conduit first, and then head over there to Walmart and get. Uh, what am I getting at Walmart? Oh, Christmas cards. That's right. <laughs> I'm tired. It's getting to be a long day now. That's why I picked up the pizza for dinner. Well, that looks a little ominous. I don't think anything's supposed to amount from it, though. Last stop of the day, Walmart Christmas cards. Don ended up not needing that uh, piece of conduit, so we looked at inflatables and Home Depot and left. <laughs> There's the annual Christmas card. Ruby even made the picture. Wow, the sunset got really pretty while we were inside of Walmart. Really pretty. Well, Donnie, it's a good sign. Robot's on. That means, that means the garage has got power. So tell me, how's it going? Good, done. Yeah? I even changed out, changed out this, um, the plug? Yeah, that's 50 amp now. Wow. And we got 246 volts, uh, you know, of course it's not throwing any power because nothing's plugged in, but it's, uh, it's all wired up. All right, way cool. Yeah. I mean, wow, you demand, Donnie, you demand. Trying to be.